bank art repair using modern arthroscopic technique. The bank art lesion can be visualized from our anterior cannula, showing the anterior labrum stripped from the front of the glenoid. There was a small amount of glenoid erosion, however this patient had a very small hill sax lesion and we felt that this was amenable to arthroscopic repair. The first step in the procedure is to use an elevator to mobilize the soft tissues from the front of the glenoid. The labrum is typically scarred down, often in a medial position. It is important to mobilize this soft tissue and free it up from the glenoid so it can be placed back up onto the face of the glenoid in an anatomic position. Once the soft tissue is elevated, a burr is brought in and the anterior glenoid is debrided to stimulate a healing response. Our preparation can be visualized from the anterior cannula. Next, we'll establish an anterior inferior corkscrew cannula just above the subscapularis tendon. A second cannula is placed just below the biceps. This gives us two working cannulas in the rotator interval. Next, we will bring in a rasp to stimulate a healing response. A drill guide is placed on the face of the glenoid inferior as possible, in this case at the 530 position. We then drill and tap the anchor into place. It is important that the anchor is placed onto the face of the glenoid. We will then reach in from our anterior superior portal and pull one limb of suture. We'll use a suture passer to grab capsule inferiorly and pass it up underneath the labrum. A number one PDS is used as a suture shuttle. It is pulled out of our anterior superior cannula, loaded with the suture and passed back through our anterior inferior cannula. The knot is positioned appropriately to ensure that the soft tissues are shifted superiorly. We use a sliding locking knot followed by half hitches. The sutures are then cut. We then proceed to place anchors in similar fashion, working our way superiorly. The drill guide is brought in through the anterior inferior cannula. If it is difficult to reach low on the glenoid, a trans subscapularis percutaneous portal can be used to place the anchors. There are some technical points that ensure the success of this arthroscopic procedure. It is important to mobilize the soft tissue to allow the labrum to be placed up onto the face of the glenoid in an anatomic position. Adequate preparation of the anterior glenoid with a burr is important to stimulate a healing response. Strategic position of portals will make any arthroscopic procedure easier to perform. And finally, our goal is to utilize a minimum of four to six anchors to ensure a solid repair and to decrease the risk of recurrent instability. In this case, six anchors were used as can be seen from our posterior and anterior cannulas.